Hi, everybody. This is Emra Goltekin, and I am the co-founder and CEO of Chooch AI. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about visual AI on the edge. So basically, as a company, what we do is we clone human visual intelligence into machines. And we've been doing this for some time now on the cloud. But most recently, we've been able to put a lot of our models onto the edge. And we did this for three main reasons. One, privacy and security. Two, we wanted these AIs to work in disconnected environments. And three, we wanted to decrease the overall load in, on the network. And as you can see here, AI chip and device market is increasing rapidly. And we think for this reason, it'll continue to develop over the next five, 10 years. Our Edge AI platform is based on the cloud platform that we developed. So you're able to sign up and sign in to choose. You're able to upload your data sets. You're able to label them, annotate them, train them, and do the inferencing all on one platform. And you're able to do this without code. And you're able to export these onto your devices. So remote deployments, and you're able to do updates as well from the cloud to these devices. We're deployed now on the Jetson Nano TX2, and we're also doing on the Xavier. 10 calls per second, we're able to put eight models up to 8,000 classes onto each device. We can flash onto many devices at the same time. We work in the healthcare industry, geospatial, and safety and security right now. Here you can see some of the use case in healthcare. So on the left-hand side, cell detection, identification of microscopy. This is super, super important for biomedical researchers and to be able to do this at scale. Uh, so detecting the cells, identifying what type of cell it is. On the right-hand side, you see surgical theater action tracking. So what's happening in an operating room? What's going into the surgical cavity? What's coming out of the surgical cavity? What in general is happening in the operating room? It's all logs that are saved onto the device and you can send alerts to the people in the operating room if there are any anomalies and you can share best practices between surgical teams. Here's our, our COVID-19 response. Uh, we took publicly available x-rays, lung injuries, pneumonia, and we were able to train it very, very quickly on our system and make the, public, make the models public uh, to every, for everyone to use. We waived licensing fees for medical researchers uh, to train their models very quickly and proliferate on our system. Here we have geospatial solutions, wildfire detection from space and from drones, very, very crucial. The first few minutes of wildfire to get there, to detect it, get there and put it out before it becomes a problem. On the right-hand side, you see humanitarian relief, natural disaster occurs. We need to know very quickly what's happening on the ground after a natural disaster occurs. So you can see here which buildings are damaged, which building is still standing, destroyed, and whatnot. Here are safety solutions, safety and security like OSHA compliance in the workplace, make sure, making sure everyone has their hard hats on, uh, cough and mask detection, super important uh, for the safety of workplaces, communities. Here are media solutions, being able to understand content, understand things that you're looking at, whether that's in a museum, whether that's uh, at a zoo and so forth. So content origin, being able to generate this metadata very quickly and to be able to show the user what they're actually looking at and make them smarter about what they're looking at. Here, retail solutions, left-hand side, you see planogram reporting, what's on the shelf, what's not on the shelf, what needs to be restocked, what looks out of, out of place. And right hand, you see a bicycle, a product, what is this product? all the attributes of the product, and even pricing the product. Here's some more technical information about what we do and what we're doing with these processors, uh, our platform, image, object, text, and face, and all the details about it. So please get in touch with us. We'd love to support you on your visual AI needs. Hello at chooch.ai or go to our website, chooch.ai, and we will support your visual AI use cases. Thank you very much.